Justin, you picked up your third file with exactly your fourth file with exactly three minutes to go. Was okay. there any talk between you and the coach? Um, yeah, it was pretty much just just keep showing your hands. You know, I thought a lot of my files were like maybe just victim of the circumstance and just, you know, just some knickknack quick calls that they made. And, you know, so I just didn't want to get the fourth. And so I was just playing smart, playing with my hands and not really trying to reach and, and just making myself vulnerable to get called for a file. Buffalo is always that team that kind of you guys go back and forth and you did that again tonight. Right. What's it like getting a huge win over Buffalo to early in the season. Um, I think it's huge, especially um this early. You know, we don't we wouldn't really see them to probably back in February and then the early of March. So the and they're a good team. We know they're gonna come out tough and they one of the fastest playing teams in the country. So to, to get a win like this is definitely something we can build off of because we know that to, to reach our end goal, which is a championship, we know we got to keep getting better every day. And there was some stuff we made a, a big stride on today. So I'm glad we did. A lot of fouls early. So some young guys or some guys that aren't super familiar with the court had to come on in. Uh, what is it like to kind of lead them through that process? Um, it's pretty good. You know, it's uh, staying poised at all times. You know, we had a, I think it was one part in the game where Josiah missed the rebound and it went out of bounds and they, Buffalo got the ball back, which is pretty crucial, you know, and just letting them know it's okay. You know, it's a mistake and we still got time left and to uh, persevere through that and it's a long game. What do you think it did for you guys today that I think you guys started like five of 22 from the field yeah. that you never got too far out of it and you guys were able to weather that defensively and then stay in the game and eventually win it? Um, I think it showed us a couple of things. I think it showed us that it's a long game. Um, shots not falling. Um, I think it proves that our bat, our we can rely on our defensive end to get to get stops to to kind of get our offense going and get us in transition. And then it just shows that when we play uh, with max effort and max energy that, you know, stuff will come to us. We'll, we'll allow them to make mistakes and then we'll um, try to capitalize off of them. Box score is probably not going to show it, but um, Josiah gets three rebounds in a row. How did that change the just what you guys were able to do to finish the defensive possession, and then you were able to score each time on the other side? Oh, it was a, a big game changer. You know, they had a lot of plays where they got the offensive rebound, and uh, maybe got a foul, or they maybe got a second chance points. And um, second chance points are some of sometimes the easiest points to make in basketball. So um, him getting us those rebounds allowed us to to get the scores on the other hand, which put it up five and maybe put it up seven. So it was huge. Just getting the first one in the books, you mentioned it the other day. These ones always seem to feel like they matter more with time. Right. What does it mean to you guys to just get the first MAC game out of the way here early in December to be one and oh? It means a lot. Um, you know, for the Freshies, it was their first real MAC game. You know, they see the intensity uh, it was played at, even without a crowd. They see how every possession matters from, from the beginning to the end. And it, it also shows that how you got to be poised and, you know, you can't panic after um, one thing goes wrong because it's a long game. So I think this was a big stepping stone for us.